What's up, y'all? It's Darnell, Showcase Taylor, and I love J. Ross Television. What's up, y'all? This your boy J. Ross in St. Louis, hanging out with my cat, y'all. Showcase guitar extraordinaire oh, uh, in town, y'all, tonight for the Jill Scott block party. He playing guitar for Anthony Hamilton. Yeah. We wanted to holler at my boy Show so he can uh, hip y'all a little background on what he's talking about, y'all. So, what's up, boy? Man, chilling, man. It's belly full, hanging out with J. Ross today, man. Got me out here, got me lazy now. <laughs> me and everything, but that's my man though. So anytime you in St. Louis, you can't st you can't come through St. Louis without stopping through to see Jay Ross. I appreciate that, dog. Tell Tell hey, yeah, uh, let's get right to it now. Yeah. You the guitar wizard. Oh man, I, my pleasure, man. I appreciate it, man. I'm just I'm just happy to be in the number. That's always that's what I always say, man. You well, well, all right. Well, well, take us back to when you wanted to play guitar. How you conned your mama end up getting it, and then I get you from there. Yeah, yeah, man. Real, you know, real quick. I was uh, about 12, 13 years old, man. I had, you know, dabbed into like uh, piano and trombone when I was younger. And uh, my mom, you know, dad, they didn't believe me when I was serious about guitar or whatever. So I had to beg them, man. They finally took me serious. I was like, mom, if you buy me this guitar, I promise you I'll never put it down. And here I am, 32, man. You know, thank God I'm still here. Never put it down, man. And got me on tour, you know, out here playing with Anthony. Hanging out with Jill Scott and her crew, shout out to them, you know, Dougie Fresh, Jazzy Jeff, Budweiser. Um, this is my second Budweiser run, so, you know, I appreciate it, man. We had fun last year, we're having fun this year. We're in the second week of the tour. Out here in the loop. All right, Edwin, okay, now, you, your mom got you the guitar, right? She got me now, the guitar, yeah. did you, how did you how did you attack it? You just start uh, playing, doing finger stuff, or you read uh, books, or what? Yeah, well, I had, I, had a, um, I had a guy, man, by the name of Xavier Martin. Kind of, kind of gave me the guidelines. But when I first picked it up, I, my coordination was so bad I couldn't strum and, and finger, you know, a chord or a line at the same time. So it took me about a couple of weeks to get that together. Man. Right. I didn't, you know, surprising. But um, just kind of uh, dipped and dab with it, you know, and just trained my ear, you know, just listening to records or whatever. And um, and then he he kind of gave me that direction, man. And from there, you know, books and chord books. And, just meeting different people and they showing me stuff, man. And, you know, so went from there. So you, 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 you uh, do you feel like uh, learning on the job, so to speak, is more important than the books? Um, absolutely, because it doesn't it doesn't just teach you the technical side. The book doesn't tell you all the other stuff you're going to deal with when you play. Like what? Give some examples um, if you can. You know, in, improv, you know, um, placement. You know, it's going to the book is going to show you what to play. It's gonna give you the actual term, you know, E minor nine or whatever, you know, if you're playing, or flat seven chord or whatever, but it's not gonna tell you that placement where that artist is saying something. It's not gonna tell you, hey, color right here, or don't play right here to leave that space for that, for that, you know, for the to catch that vibe of the song. You know what I mean? Well, let me ask you this real quick. Now, like, do you do you believe or do you feel that like? Uh, most of the younger guitars coming up now, do they do they have that quality to understand where to play and not to play? Um, no, but with the exception of a few, you know, and I can't say who those few right, are. Right, no, no names, no names. Yeah, yeah, no, I can't say who that is, but what I've seen, you know, and I was the same way. When you're young, man, you're just excited to be playing. And I think that, uh, you know, you're just playing just to be playing, but after a while, it's something you grow into. Yeah. You know, it's almost like a, um, uh, I call it a musical maturity, you know what I mean? Uh, you have your regular maturity as a man or whatever, and developing, it's the same with music. And uh, placement is, is something that, you know, it's, it's a learned art, it's not something that you're gonna, you know, just know. You know what I mean? It's gonna come from making mistakes, it's gonna come from people telling you, hey, leave it open right here. Yeah. Good MD or a good leader, you know, stuff like that, man. Yeah, once again, y'all, we in St. Louis, um, with my boy Showcase guitar yeah, for yeah. Anthony Hamilton getting ready for the block party in a couple of hours. But let me ask you this, that now, you started off, you, you, you your mom got the guitar, you gravitated toward it, now you're playing with Anthony Hamilton. In between that, how did you uh, season yourself for us like, uh, well, getting seasoned and also making money so you can, you know, realize that you can be a professional? Yeah, um, well, I listen to a lot of records, man. And when I say I listen, I listen. Like, I just tune the guitar out and just listen to the structure of the song. Not, I, I want to be not just a guitar player, but I want to be a producer, an engineer, you know, so I got kind of got that whole background. And that, I use that approach when I'm approaching playing. 
Yeah. So when, I, when I'm playing, the song may not even have a guitar part in it originally, but because I had that that experience and that training, I know how to place a guitar in there to, to, to go along with that groove or whatever to where it's not too much, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, what was the other part of the question? I forgot it was so long. <laughs> <laughs> that catfish, y'all. Hey, well, I'm telling you. All right, let's get to this one there. All right, you're on the road a lot. You guys been bumping up and down the highway for a long time. Now you got your wife back home. How she feel about this type of stuff? Man, she supported, man. But then just like anything else, man, it's like when you're coming home, you know, who you out there with, you know, the whole trust factor, man. So you... Now, hold on. How big is that, the trust factor? Oh, man, it's huge, man. It's huge, bro. It's huge because... Um, got to have that in order to make it work if you're going to be in a relationship. Yeah. You know I mean? And uh, you know, I, thank, I thank God for her standing by me and not leaving. Because, you, know, um, you know, some may not say it, but I'll say it, man. It, it's not, it's not, you know, you, you don't make the money like people think you do. You know? Yeah. You, it's not always hot. You're not always on tour. Right. You know what I mean? So you got to be smart and understand it's a hustle out here. You know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah, you got to recognize that, man. You can't look at this and see all this stuff or whatever, you know, and think this is going to always be like this. You know, uh, so, you know, trust is huge, man. And you have to do your part. If you're on the road, you still got to send flowers home, you know, pick up a gift or something like that while you're out. You know, let them know you're thinking about them, man. Yeah. yeah. Hey, y'all, that's my boy. Say your name. Darnell <laughs> Showcase Taylor. <laughs> that's me. Well, my legs hurt like a dog. And, uh, once again, we in St. Louis. Last question, we're going to let him blow, y'all, because he got to get ready for the throwdown tonight. Yeah, and uh, it's hot in St. Louis, y'all. I don't know. Here, man, man. Back home. Yeah, hey, I ain't sitting out in no heat. You can bleed that one. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, all right, what's the, what's the future now? For, for you showcase what you what you want to do I know you do you want to do this all your life or you got bigger aspirations man I, I love playing man I, I would love to continue to do this man especially with, you with, or with a good crew I'm with my boys man Anthony y'all you know, that's all my people man um, I want to continue to do this man I want to continue to produce man um, go out there and get a chance check out Marcus Anderson now smooth jazz artist produced a record on his new, uh, his new CD my man Willie Clayton Y'all in the soul and blues, man. Um, I just uh, did a tribute record with him to Johnny Taylor and Tyrone Davis. Oh, man, so that's tight. go ahead and check that out. Um, and I also have a gospel artist that I produce. And I started my own record company and everything, man. Oh, so, yeah. Uh, Marchetta Parker is her name. She's online, marchettaparker.com. Uh, check her out, man. Uh, but, you know, I want to do it all, man. You know what I mean? Um, label, independent label. You know, producing, you know, gigging, the whole nine, man. You know, whatever I, I got to do, man, keep the lights on. That's what I always say. Man. Hey, something you said, though. Let me ask you this. What's in your mindset when you swing from blues to R&B with Ant and to jazz with Marcus? I mean, um, how did you learn all these different genres? Obviously, I listen to them, you know. That's the key for you, that's, that's the, the key listening. For me, to listen. Okay. And not only did I listen, but what you have to do is you have to capture that the essence of the songs and the essence of that that genre. So if you're playing rock, like you can't play no R&B or no gospel licks in rock. Like you really gotta transform yourself into that rock. You know what I mean? Same with jazz or whatever. You know, you can still put your spin on it, but you still want to approach it like a jazz musician. So it's almost like you're splitting yourself in, you know, in, in different forms. Yeah. You know what I mean? All right, y'all. Donnell Showcase Taylor in St. Louis. We're going to let him roll up out of here, y'all. J. Ross, 10 million strong. We about to bounce. Yeah, we up. Peace. Later, y'all.